There's also... They do a great job. The great news team. There's also real news in the world of religion and wrestling tonight because the WWE has trademarked the Bible verse numbers 316. It is the most inappropriate case of commercializing the Bible since King Solomon's baby-sized Ginsu knives. <laughs> Cut that baby in one swipe. <laughs> now, the WWE trademarked 316 refers to one of the Bible's most quoted verses, John 316, for God so loved the world that he gave his only son that those who believed in him shall not die but have eternal life. Or, as the WWE will now put it, Christ the mania is running wild. <laughs> Woo, baby! <laughs> now, let me explain how all this happened. Stone Cold Steve Austin started using 316 when he beat Jake the Snake Roberts in the King of the Ring match in 1996. Woo. Roberts <laughs> had been using John 316 as part of his entrance routine and his character. Here's what Austin said when he beat him. Talk about your psalms. Talk about John 316. Austin 316 says I just whipped your ass. Yeah. And this is not the first run-in Jesus has had with the WWE. <laughs> Anyone who's read their Bible knows Jesus was betrayed by Judea's famous wrestling heel, Rude Judas the Betraying Judas. <laughs> well... If the WWE owns 316, we're going to have to update the way we teach the story of Jesus. So now, introducing... Weighing in at 120 pounds, hailing from Nazareth, Judea, the Messiah of muscle, the Savior of steel, Jesus! Sisters, listen up. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. You hear that, Stone Cold? I'm going to walk all over you like water. And go ahead and bring the pain, because whosoever shall smite me on my right cheek, I will turn to you the other, and then I'm going to forgive you. Oh, yeah. This is my body! This is my belt! I'm the champion of the world!